Uh, Lokesh, every business is a journey. And during that journey, you figure out ways in which first to build an audience that wants what you have to offer. And second, you figure out what and how much are they willing to pay. I think in the digital economy, it's fairly common to first build a proposition which is valuable, which is what we are doing, get people to start using it, and then to figure out only when it is useful to them that you have earned the right to ask for money. So that's really the path that we are taking. Thanks, Lokesh. Yeah. One more question for Gul. Uh, how much ta uh, distance or time you spend walking, or sorry, running? Lokesh, thanks. Um, I just tweeted this morning that I'm back to a strength training routine. The running season in India starts with the Airtel Delhi Half Marathon, which is in November, uh, is followed by the Delhi, the, the Mumbai Marathon, then there's, it ends with the Bangalore 10K, which I ran on Sunday. So when I'm training for a running event, because I feel training is good fun, time pass training, but training with a goal is, is actually very helpful, for me at least. So when I'm training for half marathons, I'm doing 50 kilometers a week. 5 0 uh, in four runs. So I'll do 116K, 112K, 110K, 112K. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, how shall I put it? It's a program I follow designed by my running coach because even though I've been running for so many years, I still want someone to tell me that half marathon ke liye ek itne hafte mein itne runs karne hai because that's how the body gets trained. So there are some long runs and then there are some short runs, one kilometer sprint two minute break, one kilometer sprint, I do that about eight, nine times. But since the running season ended yesterday for me, and the next run that I will start training for will be in September, which is the Delhi uh, November half marathon, I will do three days of running a week, maybe two days even, to maintain um, that level of, how shall I put it, um, stamina that I've gained, so I don't start from scratch all over again in September. So now, with the effect from today, I will strike a balance between strength endurance and flexibility. Last seven months have almost seen me in favor of endurance and cutting back on strength and cutting back on flexibility. But now focus is going to be strength, flexibility and endurance in equal measure. So this week onwards, I will be running about 20 kilometers a week till September. Long answer, sorry, but I have to explain because I love running and I can talk endlessly about running. Thank you. Anybody else with questions out there? Sorry, so here. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I just got an update late last night, which all modern phones don't even ask you these days. They just tell you, boss, we're updating your app. At least iPhones ask you that there are updates available. You can go and download them. But with the Android that I'm using, it just goes and informs you that the update has been installed. Sorry, so you had a question. See, I think uh, I've always believed that when you're fit, it increases your mental capacity and your physical capacity to do much more. So if you're, if you're an unfit person, by the end of a five, six, seven, eight hour day, you'll be tired. But being physically fit, having greater cardiovascular uh, strength means you can, you can last a much longer day and still feel active. So I don't have a problem with 12, 13, 14 hour days at all. Uh, in fact, during my campaign, I was campaigning 18 hours a day from 6 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock and I never got tired because I was so fit. So I think fitness just gives you a greater opportunity to exploit everything else that you want to do. And it takes just about 40, 45 minutes, one hour a day. So I find that one hour and that gives me time to do everything else which I ordinarily would not have time on.